everybody, I'm Nitin and today in this PSLE 2017 Paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 11. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there, okay? So let's jump straight into question 11. So this is question 11 and this question is testing us on geometry, okay? Geometry. So this question has three parts, part A, B and C. Let's read part A first. The figure below shows a right angle triangle ABC drawn on a grid. Okay, part A. ABX is a right angle triangle with the same area as triangle ABC. Draw ABX on the grid above such that ABX does not overlap with ABC. Okay, so now that we have read the question, let's highlight the key information, okay? So ABX is a right angle triangle with the same area as ABC. Okay, over here you should notice that there's something constant now. Huh? So E and B is constant in both of them. So basically this A over here and this B over here should be used. Okay, so we are supposed to use this line and do some triangle in order to make the same area as A, B, and C. And it should be a right angle triangle. Okay. So, let's see if you have any ideas on solving this question. So, let's continue highlighting. So, they are telling us to draw ABX on the grid above such that ABX does not overlap with ABC. It should not overlap, so we cannot draw ABX like this. So, we can't just draw it again over here and then we label this as x we can't just do that again that will be cheating right so that is why this examiner is really smart and they say does not overlap okay so i hope you understand that now so now let's move on to solving the question okay this question over here so we need to use lines a and b okay before that let us measure the lines over here. So my plan is to actually use this triangle and just flip it over to the other side, okay? So here's the triangle, right? I'm just going to flip it over to the other side. So that's my plan. So it will give us the same area and we will still use A and B, okay? So let's count the base, the units, okay? So there's one unit over here, two units over here, three units, 4 units, 5 units, and 6 units. So there's 6 units over here. Okay, so the height 1 unit and 2 units. Okay, we can't really say units because it's different lengths already. So I'm going to say it as 2p. And this line over here is what we call the hypotenuse. But for the primary school level, you do not need to know what does this line mean. Okay, so this line over here. So there's one part, there's two parts, there's three parts, and there's four parts. Okay. So now I can just move on to flipping it around in this side. Okay. So here is it. Here it is. So I'm going to do it exactly, but with six units. So one unit here, two unit here, three unit. 4 unit, 5 unit, and 6 units. Okay, so this is 6 units. It's checked. Okay, so 6 units. After that, the hypotenuse is supposed to be... Sorry, I forget to write it now. So it's supposed to be 4 parts, okay? So 4 parts. It's supposed to be 4 parts. So let's look at it. We do not need to worry about line A, B because it's constant in both of them. So now we can check. So is it four parts when we connect? One part, two part, three part, and four part. Yes, it makes sense. So our working is correct, but we are missing out one thing. We are supposed to label the X because it's triangle ABX. So we got to label X, okay? Let me write it more clearer. So we got to label X, okay? So, we are done with part A. Now, let's move on to part B. So, let's read part B. BCY is an equilateral triangle. 
draw BCY on the grid such that it does not overlap with triangle ABC. Okay, so let's highlight the key information. So BCY is an equilateral triangle. What is an equilateral triangle? Okay, for some of you, if you do not know what is an equilateral triangle, let me draw it to you. So basically, all the sides are the same. So my drawing is not drawn to scale, okay? So if, if all the sides are not the same length, right, you cannot complain. Okay, so just take it as all the sides are the same. And the equilateral triangle, all the sides are equal lengths. So that's why all of them are same. Okay, sorry, it's overlapping. So let me draw it again. Sorry, I'm really sorry about that. So let me draw it a bit higher. So here is a equilateral triangle. So this is the equilateral triangle. Okay, so I hope you understand this. So just like I said, all the sides are equal lengths and each angle is 60 degrees. Okay, 60 degrees, 60 degrees. Okay, so this is equilateral triangle. Okay, so I hope you understand this. Good. So now that we have understood what's an equilateral triangle, let's continue highlighting. So they're telling us to draw BCY on the grid such that it does not overlap with triangle ABC again. So it should not overlap again. It's really torturous. It can't overlap. So they're really smart. Okay. So what is common between ABX and ABC first? So ABX is a night. It's a right angle triangle so you should have a 90 degrees right and over here is also 60 degrees why because it's the same triangle just flipped over to the side so that is why it's still 60 degrees over here okay i think you can't see properly so let me write that bigger okay so now we are supposed to draw bcy bcy supposed to start with what bcy is also supposed to start with 60 degrees right all the sides so you know what i'm going to use i'm going to use okay let me erase this line first so i'm going to use line bc as the starting line for bcy do you know why yes just like part a bc is the same over here as a b and c that is why i got to use line bc as the starting line so if this line is four parts right it is four parts actually so this line is four parts right so all the other lines should be four parts as well so let's check okay so let's start drawing so one one part two part three part and four parts yes now we draw up we connect it and let's check if it's four parts also one part two parts three parts and four parts yes it's four parts so all the sides are equal lengths good now we know that all the sides are 60 degrees yes 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 all of them are 60 degrees and we are forgetting something we should always label it bcy where is y it's here good so I hope you understand this. Okay. So now that we are done with part B, let's move on to part C. So part C, let's read it. Find the ratio of the area of triangle ABX to the area of triangle BCY. Okay. You have to find the ratio. Hmm. So let's highlight it. Ratio of area of triangle ABX to BCY. So basically, it's supposed to be like this. ABX is to BCY, okay? So we are supposed to find the area of this. So how? Okay. So ABX, the area is equal to ABC, right? So basically, there's a common angle in both of these triangles. 
that is 60 degrees. And between ABX and BCY, there's also a common angle, 60 degrees. So this 60 degrees over here and this 60 degrees over here are equal. So I'm going to flip over this ABX such that it fits into this triangle BCY. Okay? So this is what is going to happen. So look. So this is the dotted line. It's in black color. So I'm basically putting this 60 degree red color angle into over here. So this angle over here becoming this angle over here. Okay. So let me use it again. So this yellow color angle becomes this red color angle over here. Okay. So this angle is this angle. And then this 90 degrees over here, look. And this 90 degrees over here becomes the 90 degrees over here. And so this C does not become C anymore. It becomes X. So this is ABX. So if you can see, ABX is exactly half of BCY. So what does half actually mean? It's 1 over 2, right? So ABX is 1 and BCY is 2. So the ratio is basically 1 is 2. 2, yes, that's how you get the answer. Yes, yeah, so this is the answer for part C. Yes, I hope you understand my explanation for this question part A, B and C. And thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.